This is a pretty good example of a contactor here. This is all that's required to switch. This little test cable that I've rigged up is all that's required to switch, it's like the 600 amp supply. This is for a compressor. So, you know, you, you just want a, one button to turn on a compressor and it, and it switches this contactor on. A little in the field um, example for you guys. So this machine's isolated, but I need to test this contactor. So I've just rigged up a suicide lead to my lead here, just to test this contactor on and off. And goes off with a big boy bang. Woo! A lot of grunt, a lot of grunt to pot operate that spring. So intense bit of kit. Well, this is what the innards of a 600 amp VSD looks like. Don't ask me to explain it to you because I fucking can't. <laughs> Yeah, the incomers, yeah. Ah! Doesn't feel like water. Maybe oil? Something must be splashing around in here, the seals. Is there a seal on this? There is a seal, it's a small one, so... Yeah, we'll see. I don't think that should have made it go boom. Oh my god. A literal gorilla did these up. I can barely get them undone there, that fight. <laughs> oh, I wanted to go. Fucking sweating. Big motor. There's the specs on it. You can pause the video. Right, here we go. Well, that's good, I suppose. Call me old fashioned, but I learned on these analog meters and it's a little um, safety blanket for me. So we're just doing the earth to phase again. Lovely. Earth to phase, yep. Lovely, all right, so earth to phase to phase rather. Good. And face to face. Good. And which one have we missed? This one. Lovely. All right. So there we go. Um, I was getting bad readings from the VSD side, so the VSD is in that panel there. It goes through these things. So I've got to rehook all these up. And yeah, it's the VSD that's the problem. So the client will have to get that fixed and there's a big lead time on it so <laughs> sucks to be them I guess uh, yeah all right get out of here this is 